Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So this channel, Everyday Data Science, is all about trying to learn the different concepts involved in data science by practicing a lot of questions. In this video, I am going to solve this question on lead code regarding restaurant growth and try to walk you through how we can develop solutions to such problems. The difficulty level of this question is medium and this question has been asked in Amazon and 0.72 interviews over the past couple of years. Okay, so let's jump right in. We are given a table called customers with four different columns, customer ID, name, visited on and amount. The combined columns customer ID and visited on is the primary key for this table. This table contains data about customer transactions in a restaurant. Visited on is the date on which the customer with ID customer ID has visited the restaurant. Amount is the total paid by your customer. You are the restaurant's owner and you want to analyze a possible expansion. There will be at least one customer every day. We are asked to write a SQL query to compute the moving average of how much the customer paid in 7 days window. That is the current day plus the 6 days before. Average amount should be rounded to 2 decimal places and the res order result should be sorted by visited on in ascending order. Let's go through this example. So we have this customers table with different customers and their names, the date they visited on and the amount that they spent. Right. And based on this, we need to calculate the move, uh, seven day moving average. Right. So it's something like visited on the amount that they spent up till then and then the average amount. Right. So if you add like all these sum, right, up till seventh, right, seven day moving average. So the current plus six before. So if you add this entire thing, it will come out to be 860 and the average amount is 122.86 dollars. Similarly, for on eighth, right. So for eighth, it should be from this row, row number two to the current one because current plus six before, right? So you sum the amounts and you calculate the average and that is what we need to do, right? So to do this, the first thing that we should keep in mind is that here on different dates, it can be possible that more than one customer visits, right? So if we just apply the window functions in this customer table as it is, then it would be a problem, right? Because if you see when the cursor is on this row right so it will take this row plus six before right and will return okay on visited on 10th of january 2019 this is the sum and this is the average the cursor moves to next one and again it will be visited on this on that same day right and then it will calculate the uh, total sum as this row plus six uh, before so that is a problem so the first thing that we should do is we should group by visited on and try to see on a particular day what is the total amount that different customers in combination have spent at the restaurant right so from this table called customer let's group by right visited on column and then let's return the visited on column and the sum of the amount column right sum of amount let's uh, alias it again as amount doesn't matter so this will say okay on 1st of january 2019 100 110 and this 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 and then on 10th of january 2019 they the total spend was 280 dollars right so once we have that let's store this in a common table expression right so once we have this what we can do is using this common table expression right we should see okay so we need to calculate the rolling sum so this is the rolling sum and rolling average right so from common table expression we need what columns the visited on the rolling sum and the rolling average so return the visited on column and then we need to calculate the rolling sum right so we write sum of the amount column remember we have alias is that amount right so we are using common table expression like let's uh, to remove the confusion let's uh, you know write total amount right alias this as total amount so we sum the total amount over we are using a window function so over close and needs to be there so over Obviously, to calculate the rolling sum, we need to first order by visited on date, right? So you order by visited, visited on, and then 
what you need to do is you need to specify the rows between like since it mentions seven day moving average right so we need to make sure that the cursor and the six before them or um, before that rows are only kept right every time so we write rows between six preceding and current row right and let's alias this as the output is amount right so let's alias it as amount similarly we we need to do the same thing but in that case we need to calculate the average right so let me just copy this entire thing copy paste here and instead of sum we are calculating the average right and uh, everything else will be same and also it says to round off your average to two decimal places so we write round this entire thing right to two decimal places and the alias should be average amount right so we write average amount right so let me go ahead and run this right so just to you know obviously it is going to give a wrong answer but let me show you what this is going to give right so let's run this okay so here if you see it starts from the very first day right first of january and goes all the so it first january uh, this is the total sum 100 obviously and i have average like 100 divided by 100 on second it does what is the total sum 210 210 is 110 plus 100 right and the average is 105 and goes all the way till 9th of january and 10th of january right but in our output we only need dates from seventh day right so we don't need all the dates so we need to filter some of filter out some of the results right so let's store this entire thing in another common table expression cte2 as right now once we have that from this common table expression it has this ct2 has all the information that we need for the answer we only need to exclude certain rows right so we are only keeping those rows where the visited on date or basically the date is greater than equal to now what we need to do is basically we take the first value right the first value of the common table expression to and add six to it right so that is going to give the seventh day so like in today's date if i add six it is going to give me the seventh day right so that is what i need to do so if i return the select visited on from ct2 order by visited on and i limit it to for one right so the very first date when this table starts right and add six to it right so it will add six days to it so when I only keep those rows where the visited and visited on column is greater than or equal to seventh day or more right and then you return everything because again ct2 has everything that we need we are only filtering out certain rows right so select everything and at the end we need to order by visited on in ascending order right so let me order by visited on okay so this looks good let me go ahead and run this to see what happens okay so this is accepted our output is same as expected output let me go ahead and show you so okay so now it is from 7th of january 2019 right so 7th 8th 9th and 10th exactly same as what we need to get right let me go ahead and submit it to see if it passes all the test cases so yeah this passes all the test cases pretty fast as well and this is how we do it again yes it is kind of tricky because like when we usually calculate the rolling averages we we keeps a lot of rows but here uh, the only difference was that after uh, you know calculating rolling me rolling sum and rolling averages you had to filter out certain rows 
right and to do that what we do is we you know try to see that which all rows make sense based on the date right so yeah this is how we do it let me know if there is a better way you can think of or a concise way of doing it or you can do it without using common table expressions uh let me know in the comment section post the solution there and until then i will see you guys in the next video